Hello everyone. Today's session will be dedicated to understanding AWS accounts, regions, and availability zones. To perform the steps in this workshop, you would need an AWS account. Setting up an AWS account is straightforward. However, it is important to note that your credit card details will be stored on file for billing purposes. As you engage in this workshop, please be aware that it will result in AWS charges. As an account holder, you will be responsible for any costs and the payments of your AWS bill. When you're building on AWS, flexibility is the key. And that extends to how you manage your accounts. Depending on the infrastructure's complexity and security requirements, you might find that one AWS account isn't enough. That's why mature organizations often opt for multiple accounts, such as creating a separate one for development, staging, and production. This separation not only promotes a clean workflow, but also enhances security by isolating environments. But what about more complex workloads? As your needs grow, you might need a more refined account structure. That's where AWS organizations come into play, offering a way to manage multiple accounts with ease. Moreover, AWS provides the flexibility to share resources across accounts. With the right permissions, resources in one account can be accessed securely by the other AWS accounts. This interconnectedness allows for more collaborative and efficient workflow while maintaining control over your resources. Each AWS account has the capability to access various AWS regions around the globe. Each region is essentially a separate geographic area strategically positioned to provide robust, localized computing capabilities to users worldwide. For instance, you might encounter regions labeled as US East or US West, among many others. These regions are distinct and isolated locations that ensures the services are highly available and redundant. Utilizing multiple regions can enhance your application's disaster recovery strategy and increase fault tolerance, making your application more resilient to disruptions such as natural disaster or system failures, which may affect a single region. When designing your cloud architecture, considering the right AWS region is crucial for optimizing performance, compliance with data sovereignty laws, and cost management. AWS ensures that you have the flexibility to choose and switch between these regions as your business needs evolve. For applications subject to stringent regulations, AWS provides specialized GovCloud regions tailored to meet rigorous compliance and regulatory standards. In every AWS region, you'll find multiple isolated data centers, known as Availability Zones, or AZs. These AZs are the cornerstone of a resilient cloud infrastructure, providing physical redundancy and operational stability. By architecting your applications across at least two AZs, you can distribute traffic effectively, which is crucial for maintaining high availability. If one AZ experiences an outage, the other can seamlessly take over, ensuring that your application remains operational. This design principle is essential for mission-critical applications, requiring continuous uptime. However, it's important to recognize that if an entire region were to go offline, all its associated AZs may also be affected. This emphasizes the importance of designing your architecture for both high availability within a region and disaster recovery across multiple regions. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next session.